Good morning, Year 5. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about imperial units. Uh, miles, feet, and inches are all units of length. Uh, they are known as imperial units. And um, in other parts of the world, so they're mostly used in the UK and USA. But the other, in the other parts of the world, uh, uh, people mostly use nowadays metric units that we've been learning about, which are grams, kilograms for weight, or for length, centimeters and meters, or for capacity, liters, milliliters, and centiliters. So if you need to know, and you will have to know in your life, how to convert imperial units into metric units, these um, conversion factors are going to come handy, so that we're going to uh, learn that today. In order for you to work this, uh, the questions out today, uh, you need to know the con uh, some simple conversion factors. So, when you measure length in imperial units, you will use something that's called inches. So, inches are used when you are measuring something that is smaller, um, that hasn't got really, uh, it's not really long, and then you uh, approximately, uh, we will say that one inch is around two point centimeters long. So if you look at your ruler, you will see two sides of the ruler. You will see that the one measures, measures length in inches and the other one measures length in centimeters, if you have that kind of a ruler. If you don't, you can always convert one inch into 2.5 centimeters. Uh, uh, when we measure someone's height, how, how tall someone is, we usually talk in feet. So we say that person is five feet tall or six feet tall. And we actually, when we convert that into centimeters, we say that one foot uh, is approximately equal to 30 centimeters. If you try a car and you go to Europe, for example, you will see that uh, everything is measured in kilometers uh, as opposed to the UK measuring unit of mile. So one mile is approximately 1.6 kilometers. And the best way to remember how to convert mile into kilometers is to say five miles are the same as eight kilometers. So in the same manner that I've explained here, use the conversion factors to work out these questions. Um, for example, think about how many centimeters would there be in two inches? So if you want to work this out, you need to think about that uh, one centimeter, uh, one inch equals 2.5 centimeters. So if you add another 2.5 centimeters to that, this is how you work it out. When you add up decimal numbers, you just have to uh, uh, treat them as a normal sum that you would do. You just bear in mind where to put your decimal points. So for example, five plus five is 10. So I'm going to write zero and carry one over here. And then I'm going to add two plus two and remember uh, then I carried one, so I'm going to write five in here. So the same thing you will do for two feet. If one foot is 30 centimeters, you need to double that and what you're going to get. Now, in the next set of questions here, you will try to work out measuring units for weight. So you're going to think about how many uh, kilograms or grams are there in two pounds. So you can also, you need to, once you've worked this out, you need to circle the unit that you have chosen to convert over to because you can convert pounds into grams or kilograms. It's up to you. So you just have to tell us what you've decided to do. So circle the one. So give us the, the right amount and circle the one you have used. In the same manner, when you're adding 4.5 plus 4.5, treat it as if you would be treating 45 plus 45. Just remember to put your decimal point where it belongs. So 5 plus 5 would be 10. I'm going to write 0 and carry 1. And remember to write my decimal point in front. I'm going to say four plus four is eight, plus one is nine. In the next set of questions, you have got some challenges. So try to use the conversion chart to work these challenging issues out. So try to find the longest nose of a living person, the largest bubble gum bubble, the longest snake to convert that into feet and uh, from meters, and convert the following into liters, four pints in three gallons.